Welcome to Training Unit CH002 Consul T Hub RPC Responses. As a Consul T with permission to access the Consul T Hub, one of your roles may be to respond to questions relating to regional property certificates. When we come in to the dashboard screen, depending on how you've been set up, you may see all consultations currently outstanding or overdue. You can also filter on Assign to Me. For RPC purposes, these are currently mixed in with standard consultations coming from the planning departments. To filter out the RPCs, I can click the filter button on the left hand side of the screen and that will filter out only the RPCs currently due. We do have a number of pages here. We can change this layout. It's quite easy to go from one page to another. However, if we want to see more on a single page, we can simply change the value at the bottom of the screen. On the right hand side, you'll see the status, whether it's overdue, active, uh, active being where someone has started to answer the questions. Overdue means it should have gone back to the RPC unit already. And new will be recently arrived and with a deadline date associated with them. To choose one of these RPCs to respond to, and it may work differently in different organizations. You may be allowed to choose your own to respond to. In other organizations, it may be the administrator who assigns people to these particular tasks. Currently, there's no assignee to this one for Five Hillside Terrace. I can click anywhere in that area, in that panel. And it takes me to the consultation summary. And one of the first things I want to do is I want to assign an officer to answer these questions. And your officer list will be those people within your organization, including yourself. The consultation successfully assigned to Robert Reed. As Robert Reed, I'm now going to respond to the questions for my particular department. When we go into the questions, these are a standard set of questions. It may be six questions for your department, maybe one, maybe nine. It all depends in which department you work. Each of the questions has a standard response available for you to use, and it will take one of two forms. You may have multiple choice, such as this question six here. So we can remove or add information in here, whether it's yes or no. Alternatively, we can put our own answer and ignore the standard generated answer. The past responses, if we have responded to these questions previously, this will list how we responded to any previous requests. To edit this response, I can go into edit and I could remove the pieces that I don't need. I can save my response and then approve my answer. And you'll see it shades in the question to show that you have answered it and approved it. Again, we've got a multiple choice. I'm going to go for yes in this case. And remove the options for no. Save my answer and approve. In the case of this single answer, standard generated answer. 
if this is correct, and I don't need to add any further information, I don't need to go into edit mode. I can simply click on approve. And that approves that answer. If I do decide to change, I can edit and go in and say yes, along with any other relevant information that I feel should be in there and approve my answer. Again, we've got a single answer. I'd approve. All of the questions are now answered. So the submit button becomes active. The current RPC request is now active instead of new because I'm answering the questions. I've now completed my task. I'm going to submit. And what that does, it will send it back to the RPC unit and on their screen relating to that record, they will see that all questions have been answered. Now, should they issue a certificate or refuse a certificate and a solicitor comes back with a query suggesting that the question wasn't answered correctly on your part, the RPC unit do have an option to reconsult on any individual question. And that will come back in to your dashboard. You'll see my five hillside terrace is now gone. And that's because it's been archived. Now, if a reconsult comes back in to the system, this responded option here will be withdrawn from the archived and placed back under the open consultations to be dealt with at a later stage. Given the scale of a number of these RPCs that come in, it may be useful to use the filters on the left hand side, depending on what particular area you work in, to quickly get to the consultations that you require. In this case, we're concentrating on RPC. We can choose by status. We can choose by who they were assigned to. If you're looking for your own, you simply go to assign to me at the top of the screen. We can choose a date range. We can choose the authority. We may deal with them one authority at a time as part of our working process. And the team, I have selected this team NI Water. Generally, you will not need to do this unless you are associated with a number of teams within your organization, because there may be consultations that are you responded to by multiple teams. There may also be consultations that are responded to by a single team. So you can filter out any particular team that needs to respond to limit the number of records that you see on screen. And that's the consultations on regional property certificates. Very simple and straightforward. There is a manual which goes into a little bit more detail and it is available to you as well.